Hi. So this video covered the second half on the intellectual property. So that basically means the last two out of the four types which are patent and geographical indication or GI. After of course as you can see a brief introduction or a recap in fact on what intellectual property is. So, this, so uh, to introduce you this would be a short video as fortunately or unfortunately there were no questions from the past year papers on these two subtopics. It is a fact that reasoning questions from IP come from trademark and copyright only. But please do practice questions on these from your mock test series or other sources. As you can never be sure and that is pretty unpredictable. Okay, so going into the topic. As explained earlier, the scope of IP is pretty broad as in the definition it uses the phrase any work. Here it is easier to understand that broad ambit as inventions via patent are covered here and specific geographic attributes via GI are covered here. The margin of these two is larger than the previous two which we studied in the uh, earlier video. Literary work was done under copyright and these two cover inventions and geographical attributes. So thus you can see that any any work which involves even little mental capacity of, of course every every each of these four attribute uh, each of these four types of intellectual property has their specific factors to determine if it is a valid trademark a copyright a patent or a valid GI but most of them come under intellectual property so as you can see any any sort of work has not intellectual work has not been excluded in IP and is a pretty self-sustaining uh, law division. So going into patent, it deals with in inventions mainly. There are various factors as I mentioned just now that determine whether it is an in fact valid invention or not like utility etc which are not in important for CLAT. Here also, like in copyright, the master of or the patent owner gets to decide who all can use his product, his or her product. Okay, so regarding the last point mentioned here, usually people confuse and can't distinguish between the two, that is discovery and invention, and mark a discovery as an invention and thus viable for a patent, which is not. Only inventions are viable for a patent. So please pay attention at that as mere revival or of an existing invention and no new addition doesn't come under patent law. Something new has to be invented. So moving on, GI. Here it is important that the specific attribute or characteristic in the product comes from the geographical location only. It may be from the soil, the climate, the culture or any such thing of that area. So basically exclusivity has to be maintained, a sense of speciality particular to and from a region has to come. So once you study it, GI may seem unimportant on the face of it, but it isn't actually, as even in the contemporary times, it holds relevance. As recently, if you may recall, there was a whole controversy regarding GI of Raskullah between the two states, Odisha and Bengal which was pretty much in the news, so important for CLAT. So uh, GI is as much uh, important for, to study as the other three uh, types of IP. I have listed a few popular international and national examples for a better understanding. So due to the limited relevance of these topics, this would be a short video as I mentioned earlier. And that is it for these topics with this and with this, the chapter on IP ends. So please do practice and good luck.